This is a model of the adult mandible. We're looking, we're looking at the, the, the left side of the mandible. So we have the body, the angle, and the ramus of the mandible. You'll remember the mental foramen, where we have a nerve and blood supply that exits. What you see here in pink is the gingiva, or our gums. And when we look at the adult teeth, we have 32 permanent teeth. So if you look at them in sets of four, which is what one quarter of the mouth that you're seeing here, uh, we're gonna have eight teeth here. There are two incisors. There is one canine, or cuspid. There are two bicuspid, or premolars. And there are three molars. This is one, two, and the third one on this model is actually non-erupted, so this hasn't quite come through yet. If we take this tooth apart, you can see the layers of the tooth, the enamel, the dentin, and the pulp. If we remove this again still, you see where the root canal is. Here you can see the blood and the nerve supply that go into that alveolar socket, leading up to and feeding each of the teeth. When we look at the juvenile model, same view. This is the, the lower left mandible. We have the deciduous teeth, or the baby teeth on top, and you know that because we've got some permanent teeth that are yet to come up. So these are the non-erupted teeth here. Again, two incisors, a canine or cuspid, two premolars, and one, two, three molars.